Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Tonight we're going to do something special. We are going to do our Saturday bean supper. <laughs> our main Saturday bean supper. And um, I say Maine because it was something specific to Maine. They think they do it throughout New England now. Um, typically we do it on a Saturday night. And that's typically when, when they would have done it. It was mostly started by churches. Churches, yeah. Churches. You can still see it on the church signs and you're driving around the uh, East Coast uh, around here. So um, you still see it on the, on the signs. They bean sometimes suppers, do it as fundraisers, suppers. right? Yep. Bingo and bean suppers all over the place. So what we decided to do is, um, if you remember, we did an episode on Maine Red Snappers, which are the hot dogs that are colored red, and we did the, you're, you're gonna, you, you correct me if I say it wrong, the Cayenne, 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 it's Cayenne, I was gonna say Cayenne, let's call the whole thing off. Cayenne. The uh, Cayenne Red, Cam. Yeah. <laughs> the Cayenne, the Cayenne <laughs> Red Snappers, and so basically, um, Cayenne is in, Chelsea, Massachusetts, and they make a version of the Red Snappers. The Red Snappers were originally made in Maine by W.A. Bean and Son. And we decided that we were going to get, if we're gonna make a Maine uh, bean supper, and that's supper, but I'm saying supper like they would say, yes. a Maine bean supper, supper. Um, that we would actually get the W.A. Bean and Son's Maine Red Snappers because they were the ones that originated it. We got these at Bow Street Market in Freeport. Uh, the thing is that uh, W.A. Bean and Sons does their manufacturing in Bangor, Maine. Uh, we didn't get that far up, but we did manage to find them at Bow Street Market because they, they uh, sell them there. So that's where we got the actual W.A. Bean and Son Maine Red Snappers. Now, in 1860, Albert Bean came to Bangor to open up a butcher shop and a slaughterhouse. And then in 1891, he was joined by his son, so it then became W.A. Bean and Sons. And uh, they started making sausages, and then after a few decades of making sausages in 1918, they first started making their hot dogs. And again, the reason that they're colored red like that is just coloring. The reason they're colored red like that is so that they would stand out in the butcher's case. And it's also my favorite color. Yeah. So, so again, since these are these are specific to Maine, we decided we we're going to use these for our Maine bean supper. So. But we didn't stop there. We did not stop. There. Ironic that his name was Bean because. Our next stop was B and M. Now, I, when I was a kid, you know, we these things go way back. When I was a kid, I used to think B and M meant Boston and Maine because there's the B and M trains, right? Which, right. which are Boston and Maine. These are not Boston. They're not. It's not Boston and Maine. It's George Burnham and Charles Morrill. So Burnham is the B, is the Bean, <laughs> it's the B. <laughs> And Moral is the M. That's the B and M. They started in 1867 in Portland, which they are still there in Portland. They started out doing canning of uh, roast beef, mutton, pork, lamb, roast, chicken, turkey, carrots, turnips, vegetable, you know, seafood. vegetable, seafood. Yeah, everything, everything. Uh, in 1860s, they added uh, canned goods from other manufacturings, including Underwood, who did the devil ham. I think we even did an episode on that. And then in the 1920s and 1930s, they begin selling the brick oven baked beans, packed with cans. So that's what we got. We got the B&M baked beans. Now, we kind of dressed them up a little bit. Uh, we, so we, we put them in the oven. We put some brown sugar on that. We put some... James River barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, and then my mom used to make these as a kid. She used to make them in the oven. She would put ketchup on it, but I think James River barbecue sauce just, you know... Gives it that North Shore kick. Not sure. Not sure. Can yeah, whatever. Um, and then the other thing that we wanted to do, which is typical of a bean supper, is brown bread. Now we did a full episode on brown bread. We made our own, and we did the B and M um, brown bread. So um, this is what you would find in a full supper, which is the main red snapper hot dogs, the B and M beans, and the B and M brown bread. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just meant to be. There's nothing fancy about it. It's not uh, you know. Uh, knives and forks and fancy napkins or anything else like that. It's just the basic, you know, Saturday thing. And the tradition goes back so far that people can't remember when it started. So it may even go back to like the colonial or even pre-colonial days. So um, let's go ahead and, uh, and try some. So the idea is to take a little bit of the hot dog with a little bit of the brown bread and some beans and just kind of put those all together on a in a big old mouthful. Yeah, the uh, the brown bread we just typically did. So you want to take it like a griddle or a, a frying pan, put a little butter on that, slap that down on top of it. When it gets kind of crispy, you turn that over and do the other side. 
Uh, the hot dogs, with the main red snappers, we did it on the grill. And again, the uh, beans we did in the oven. So let's try that. Nice and Get crisp. a little of everything? <laughs> well, nope. you did. I you flung did. it onto, onto the plate there. Okay. All right. All right. Cheers. That's a taste in New England right there. Now, the other thing we could have done with the beans is add bacon to it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when my mom used to do it, she used to lay bacon on the top of it. Since the beans are already cooked, there's no real amount of time you have to wait. We, what we did was, when we poured the can in there, we saw it was a little bit runny, and so we just wanted that to, you know, thicken up a little bit. Everything is really good. Yeah, that crispy, crunchy crust, that's good. That's the thing, the thing is, if there's a lot of moisture in the beans, the brown bread's really good for soaking that up. Mm -hmm. But those hot dogs on the grill are exceptional. Yeah. I love that little extra thing that you you know do with the beans, and that's like a, a good Saturday night supper. Mm -hmm. So. Um, of course, a lot of people eating this are in like like a like a church like gathering room in a basement after big belly full of beans. I don't know. Not where I'd want to hang out on a Saturday night. Well, but, but I think uh, <laughs> like no windows. <laughs> no they windows to each their own, especially no. in the winter time. No, this is great. Um, but um, but it is a tradition that that it's it's not just in church basements and everything. It's also you know people's homes. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, Afford, it was affordable for uh, many families and uh, you know just tradition in the area. It's really blue. Blue collar food. You choking to death? I'll give you the Heimlich. Almost did. I, I will give you the Heimlich. <laughs> Beans all over the camera. For just for, um, for, I mean, everything's really good. These are really good. Uh, these are obviously very good. Um, um, we could we could have updated James River a little bit of heat, but you can make those however you want. Some people add ketchup and mustard to them. Beans are however you want to make them. Um, but thumbs way up. Because... And then if you think about it, all these were like added in the 1920s. Exactly. You know, in the, the early 1920s. I mean, obviously, brown bread goes back to colonial days. Um, it's basically the bread that's steamed in a can. I think they would use a coffee can or something up. And then, um, you know, beans were typically made in the oven. If, for really hardcore bean suppers and everything, they're gonna make, the, they're gonna use dry, start with dry beans and make them from scratch. Molasses. And they're and not gonna open sugar, up a can of it, stuff. but yeah. Yeah, yeah for me, up. thumbs away up. This is absolutely delicious. Great way to spend a Saturday night. So um, we hope that you decide to try this too. Now, the hard part's gonna be getting these. If you're not in the New England area, these particularly if you're not in Maine, but still, the red snapper is gonna be difficult to get if you're not in New England. Um, I the, did see KM is available on Amazon. I don't know if that's in your area or not, but it's worth checking out. And the B&M products you can get, and I, I think um, Cost Plus World Market might carry these. So a lot of uh, a lot of like big specialty grocery stores and everything, you can find both the brown bread and the uh, B&M baked beans. So I would I would try I would get those. If you're gonna do a main bean supper, but however you go out and get it, just remember that it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Be careful and we'll see you soon. Don't forget the Febreze if you can. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.